Morning, you've taken over this MPV at Huddersfield after the previous driver brought the train in from Wigan. Today you'll be driving back into Lancashire as far as Manvec. Get yourself set up and depart when ready. So insert the master key, shift and W, versa to neutral, cancel the AWS, go down here, turn off the DRA because the little head is clear, release the uh, parking brake, set up the GSMR, so we are service 3, Sierra, Sierra, zero eight. I'm at signal seven six four. Four. There we go. Go outside. Set up our headlights to the day position. Turn on the auxiliaries by pressing N. Like that. Take off the... Press R to unlock the power brake controller. I've completely forgot, forgotten what it's called. And we are ready to go, turn on the head, um, instrument lights with I, and we are good to go. Yeah, I thought the tunnel had occlusion. Anyway, it's about to take Huddersfield, the speed limit is 50 miles an hour, and next up is the Loop of Martin, in about 7 miles. So this stereo is called 3 Sierra 08, 540, Wigan Local Inspection Point to Wigan Local Inspection Point, from of this Windhoff MPV, or multi-purpose vehicle. So at 5.40am, this MPV left Wigan to spread the sand over the icy rails to improve traction all around the northwest of England. You've taken over the circuit at Huddersfield and going to get our resume Manvik, hoping at Marston. So this it says in 2016. So stops at Huddersfield, Marston, and Manvik. Maximum speed is 60. Taking a, look at the, taking a look at the exterior model, yeah, Cosmo Trains just did an amazing job with it. It looks really good. Also, this particular this particular unit is really um, weathered, as it will be in real life. Because if you imagine the really head treatment trains, they do occur, they do get pretty uh, dirty. 
since they're like taking all the dirt from the rails and spraying it onto themselves. So the route we're currently on is Manchester Stations to Huddersfield, available on ATS and created by Penang Pacer, which it is an amazing route. Penang Pacer did an amazing job with it. So bank speed is 60. So the next station will be Slawit. One at five going to Middlesbrough. So the MPV is introduced in I think it was like the early two thousands. The they were mainly designed to for rail hair treatment trades and a bunch of other stuff. Because think about the MPV is that you have two cabs at the end and then a com uh, flatbed in the middle, so you can add different modules to it. You can have a standard module, you can add a water tank, you can have other stuff. I think that's a trial for like container trains. So you have one unit on the end, one unit on the other, and a bunch of containers in the middle. I don't know how successful that would be since the MPVs aren't really that powerful. Also, this button down here called a uh, speed set. Press that and it says speed set at 59 miles an hour. Which is soon be coming upon and slow it. So in real life, I have seen these units quite a bit in real life, mainly on my head trimmer train duties through Rochdale. I think even saw one in Stafford and Birmingham many, many, many years ago. They're quite inter interesting sight to see. Especially during autumn when they're like blowing all the leaves away. And in winter when they're putting down sunlight. is slow it. Next station will be Marsden. So this is currently available on islandhorsensim.com uh, for about 20 quid depending if the depending if the price changes. So far the, the biggest wibble I've heard about the MPV is that the smaller price isn't really is cut you that much. I think it's only like a couple of quid. And I also haven't seen that many scenarios for it. I think I've seen this scenario that I made and one by Robbo on Mitten Link. And I think, that, I think that's it. I think John Dean also mentioned a scenario on the Trent Valley.
turning yellow as we come up to Martin. That's going to be coming off the. Uh, I think it's down main? Up main. Yeah, I think it's up because Leeds is further north of Manchester. So I think it's up. I should know this. Yes, yeah, speed limit is 15 coming off the up main onto the up loop. I think gravity overdid it for me. Pair of 50s from Blackpool to Huddersfield, which no longer runs. Yeah, I know they used to run trains from Blackpool to Huddersfield. I think it was mainly one for course. Because when I was younger, I remember seeing uh, 144 at Leyland going from Blackpool to Manvik and Huddersfield. But now the service has been replaced with a Transpennine train from Piccadilly to uh, Huddersfield. This is Marsden. So the signal is right around the corner. Also, because we're on a, we're on a climbing gradient, I'll have to use the uh, hill start to get it moving when we get the rod. So I'm like crawling up to the uh, danger aspect. Break to full service, reverse to neutral, DRA on, and wait for a path towards Manchester.
So now that I have a path to the DRA off, both heads are forward, and to do the hill start. So reading from the reading from the manual, use two sets use two sets off on steep gradients. When ready to set off on a steep gradient, pull back on the combination throttle brake fully, and let the engines <coughs> sorry, let the engines rev build up to sixty plus RPM. Then immediately engage the hill start, which is this button down here. Oh, here. Yeah, the one above the uh, constant speed. Then immediately press the hill start button to engage a slow brake release process. Once the brakes have released, the MPV units will begin moving. Note that it is essential to engage to the throttle and clutch before using hill starts, or the units will roll backwards. So you can see on the brake gauge in front of us, the brakes are slowly releasing as the MPV's engines build up RPM and power. So, as you can see, we are. We are cl <coughs> Sorry, as you can see, we are slowly just crawling forwards. And now we're moving. So, it's about 10 miles to the loop. Speed limit is 30 miles an hour, going down to 15. And the next stop is Manchester Victoria, at about 18 miles. And that is how you do the hill start. Spill is going down to 15 as we join the up main towards Manchester and Staley Vegas. And we're now, now starting to go through Stanley's Tunnel as we go back into Lancashire. I guess now is a good time to show off the uh, cab light. So press L. And it kind of flickers on. And you press L again to turn off. So coming out of the next channel, we have now entered Lancashire. And also coming up on Diddle Junction. Speed limits are 65. Even though the maximum speed of this train is 60. We'll also be going downhill as we go to go through uh, Greenfield, Mosley, Silly Vegas, Ashton, and then into Victoria. Yeah, we're also going down on a gradient of 1 to 1 to 5. That's where it starts to pick up speed. That's just hard to say 60. So the windows do open. Which is very nice. Also, the back door also opens. Like that. Also, if I open the window, the back door should close. Which is really cool. On the back, we have some isolation switches. Like TPWS, um, DRA, DSD, and so on. Also, a bunch of other fancy buttons for the protection. And we have the other window that opens. 
I know there's a console for the water jets. But because we don't have water jets, we can't use it. Yeah, I haven't used. <clears throat> sorry, I haven't used the water jets yet in a scenario. I still need to make a scenario that uses water jets. Maybe sometime in autumn. Also, here the water jets are pretty complicated to wrap your head around with the um, touchscreen system on the right. This is Greenfield. Wipers, as you would on any modern train. Next station, it will be a muslin. Just keep an eye on the speed. Still in PVs, um, I'm not sure if there's going to be that many scenarios for it. I think I've always seen like two of them as I mentioned earlier. Also, thinking about the NPVs is that I think most of the workings are in uh, short term planning, which means they're generally not in the working timetable. Which means if you want to do a scenario in the past, finding times for them is a little bit difficult. This is mostly, by the way. <clears throat> I guess with the working timetable, um, I think the, the RHTT stuff is in the freight ones. You can find an MPV or an IHTT one by services or head codes that begin with a 3 and not a 0, a 6, or a 4. Also, because the MPVs run all over the place, trying to. Trying to figure out where they're going is a bit of a hard task. Those MPVs, they go literally here, there and everywhere. Next up is Siri Vegas. Where we branch off towards Ashton and Manchester, Victoria.
Yeah, I kind of guess that PB kind of has a, like a little niche of people who appreciate it. Because I'm not 100% on this, but I think most people generally prefer to drive trains that go 125 miles an hour and not like 60. Because MPV doesn't have a small niche as, say, the Tampa. Because with MPV, you're not going like half a mile an hour in a possession. This is Dilly Ridge. A very nice pub on the right, which have had drinks with Ben Apple Tree and David. By David, there'll be no Thistle, thistle Droid on Twitch. I think it's 25 for the points going to the right. And to the left goes towards Guy Bridge and Manchester Piccadilly. We go right towards Ashton and Manchester Victoria. I'm just be a little bit going up to 60. <laughs> the flyby. Speed limit is going up to 70 miles an hour. There's a 156 from Blackpool to Huddersfield. Coming up on Ashton, Ashton Underline. Uh, does anyone need, need a new wardrobe? Or a cup. Or a candle. I wonder if speed set does braking as well. Are you gonna rev up? Yeah, I think, it, I think it does do braking.
Next station will be Major to Victoria. It would be Park, then Mars Platting, but they close in 995. Probably because no one used them. Which isn't really surprising because if you've been running here in real life, the area around Mars Platting is a bit um, barren. And also, if you wanted to go into the middle of Manchester, you could just get the bus. They're really frequent. What you can also do with the MPV is uh, drag it with a locomotive because I've seen pictures on Flickr of MPVs being dragged by locomotives. Mainly sheds. I think you also can couple to like normal service trains. By service trains I mean other freight trains. Like there's no way you're coupling a fucking sprinter to an MPV. So the other week I did do this for IRL for the first time on a 105 from Leeds to Piccadilly. It is a fucking pretty route. Especially between uh, Leeds and Huddersfield. Also the ride is pretty uh, bumpy as well. I think it's because of the track. Because one of fives, uh, they have pretty good suspension. <laughs> On to the left, that line that went to the left is a freight only line towards Ashbury's, also used by ECS trains to get to Arwick. Or, um, or empty northern trains to get from um, Newton Heath to Piccadilly. It's really level 30 as we go around Mars Platting. Also, I think, I think the scene around here today is completely different with... I think Mars Platting got a new track. Also, um, or actually as well. Which I'm pretty sure they're only doing the Oichali as far as uh, Staley Bridge. I think it's 769 can do most of the run on electric from Wigan to uh, Staley Bridge. I think, they I think they changed power at Bolton or something. Because Bolton to Victoria is electrified and soon Victoria to Staley Bridge will be electrified. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the bit from Huddersfield to Leeds be electrified. I mean, I highly doubt that still a bridge to Leeds will be electrified because of all the tunnels and the uh, infrastructure. Like bridges. On the left is Collier Street sidings, used by GBRF, and I think, I think it's stone. I'm pretty sure it's done because they use like um, JA wagons. 
at the 09 just shuts around. And now we descend into Manchester Victoria. Watching our speed as we descend. <coughs> Lines on the left are Metrolink from Bury and Washdale via Alden. So we're now approaching Manchester Victoria and a clear path into platform 3. On 5 8, heading to Leeds via Vosshale and Vaffin to change. This is my check sorry where the video will end. So thank you all thank you all for watching this video from Huddersfield to Manvik. Hope you enjoyed the first drive in the MPV. Like the video if you are so inclined. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. To arrival into Manchester Victoria.